Hi and welcome to this short screencast on the really uh, lovely little app called WordSwag. Uh, WordSwag, um, whilst not free, does give you some fantastic options for um, creating some lovely posters. You can use them for lots of different things. It could be to inspire young people in your classroom. Uh, it could be uh, something which uh, is about work or, or lots of different things. So let me show you how you make them. So uh, tap on the icon at the bottom on the right hand side where you have the two sort of photographs. And you can then start to develop your own word swag. Now, it's linked to Pixabay Images where you can get copyright free images. Um, so, what we do is we type in what we're looking for. So, let's say uh, we're looking for iPad, and uh, you hit return, and then it will bring up images linked to the keyword that you search for. So, now just simply um, grab yourself uh, an image that you like so you can scroll through and uh, find an image that you like. I quite like this one here with the blank iPad on the screen. Now, I'm going to choose to not crop it. So, you've got the option square crop at the bottom which will create a square image, or don't crop. I'm going to choose don't crop, so we've got the full original image. Okay, and uh, it will then bring it up. <coughs> there we go. And then we can add some text to that image. So if I go on to double tap me to change uh, text, so I'll double tap on there, and I can change the text. So I'm going to put something like, uh, welcome to uh, at Mount Bay. DLs and I'll save and close and I'll just choose continue anyway because the characters are normally um, allowed anyway. Then across the bottom we've got a number of different layouts that we can choose from in this view on style. So let's say we're going to choose the stack attack that rearranges the text so it looks like that. Now what would be really cool with this one would be if that text actually fitted on the iPad screen. So I'll shrink that down a little bit so it looks like that. So within these styles, can you see the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and the and the, and the dice? So all I've got to do is um, choose a number, and it will change the layouts, like so. Okay, if I roll the dice, it will just choose different layouts at random, and it does that for each of the different options you have across the bottom. So if I wanted curtains, I can do that. If I wanted trend, I can do that, and it will fiddle around with all of them across five different layouts and options. So that's what we get in the uh, style bit. Then of course we can change the colour. So white on light, white doesn't look very good, so I'll make it black to stand out, for example. Okay, and um, I can change it to any colour I want, really. Okay, not pink, obviously, because that's not very good. Once I've chosen that, I can then make it transparent a bit if I want to, uh, so you can fade it out a little bit. Or you can invert it, like so. Okay, so you've got those options. Then finally, you've got options for the image itself. So if you wanted to, you can add some sort of Instagram effects to the actual image. So I can tap on uh, Sweet here, for example. If I can get it right with my finger, there you go. And it changes how the image looks. I can blur the image a little bit, um, or I can uh, increase or decrease the brightness. I'm going to keep it normal for now, though, so back to normal. And when you're done, you hit Done. And once it's run through this process, there, boom, it's saved straight to your camera roll. Should you want to save it or share it in other ways, through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Pinterest, etc., etc., you can choose to do that straight from the app. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Word Swag. Thank you.